Hello, welcome to HanLab Chapter 1, Video 2. This video is about the websites and some of the electronic resources that the lab maintains. You may have seen some of these or maybe all of them before, so we're just going to take a very quick tour of all the sites together. First, we'll follow links from the University of Nottingham's website to find psychology and then me. So go first to www.nottingham.ac.uk then find the A to Z link at the top. Click on P for psychology. Scroll down, find psychology. Then once you're there, people, and then scroll right down the rank ordered list of staff until you get to Holmes. Click on that. That's my work web page. And then in there are a number of other links, and particularly my uh, personal web page, Neurobiography. Second way, you, if you just want to put some search terms into your favorite browser, and I like Ecosia search engine because they plant trees when you search, you can try keywords like my name will be handy, Nick Holmes Nottingham, Nick Holmes Hand Laboratory, Nick Holmes Hand Lab, Nick Holmes Neurobiography, those, or Nicholas Holmes would be, would be better. Those keywords should find me, and you'll always end up with this hand website. Once you've found me, you should see my hand. Uh, with lots of links embedded in the hands, in the fingers, the median nerve, and the palm of the hand. And then below that, some links to TMS Smart, Research in Touch, Facebook, GitHub, Twitter, and YouTube. I've been adding these six links to all my web pages, so you'll see them quite often. And we'll return to these six sites at the end of this video. There are two versions of many of my websites. One version is always on the World Wide Web, www, and this is visible to everyone. And the name of those websites will be the slightly more familiar names, so Neurobiography, TMS Smart, Research in Touch, etc. The other versions of my website will be accessible only from within the university or if you're on the virtual private connection, for example, and they'll have an address like 10.156.... Just a load of numbers, and then the rest of the, the address will be the, the, the regular names of things that you should be familiar with. So to see this internal website, you either need to be on campus, connected to the Ethernet, connected to the network directly, or to be on the Wi-Fi within campus, or to have set up a VPN connection and be currently connected from outside. You can see the university page for more help on that. On my home page, each part of the hand links to different information. The thumb tells you a bit more about me. The index finger shows links to my work. The middle finger is for my teaching. The ring finger is a small statistics reference page, uh, which has said under construction for about 10 years now, and it's still very much under construction. There's not much in the little finger. It's really, really just waiting for more things. The median nerve at the wrist takes you to my central nervous system, the database neurobiography. And the palm of the hand is for the hand lab. Probably the most useful site for you is going to be this hand lab website. It's not very pretty. I'm not the best at style in websites, but there's going to be a lot of useful stuff here about your projects, about your work, about your research. At the top of every hand lab page, there are two menus, some of which you can see if you're inside, and, and these ones you can't see which are outside. So the pink menu you can see from everywhere, and the white menu is only visible from within the university. So if you can't see the white menu, you're on the wrong computer or not connected to the hand lab. On the home page is a very general introduction to the lab and a bit of a news feed, which is very low tech. It's stuff, stuff I put in there every now and again. There's a people page, which shows you all of the students and researchers who have worked with us, with some links to their online profiles and publications. This page is fed by a database, which you can access by clicking on a photo or the publications link to each person. It's going to come up a lot. A lot of things on my websites are fed by the database. That's the, the central engine for all my websites. And that's neurobiography. The research page contains a brief description of the main topics we've studied over the years. 
publications page is generated again by the database and that's automatically generated and includes everything we've ever done and all the people who've worked in the lab and come through the lab, their publications will appear here as well. And all of the links in these pages take you again straight to the database. The collaborators page, well, that was out of date. Uh, well, <laughs> it was in date when I made it. But right now when I'm making the video, it's really quite far out of date. So it's just the people I've worked with in the past. The funding page is driven again by the database. Uh, those numbers look quite impressive, I think you'll agree. The equipment page is very useful when setting up your experiments and when writing up your reports. And I very often will just send a link to students saying, when they ask what kind of equipment were we using, I just send them there and then they can discover all the equipment that we used. And then the links, if they're updated, will take you to the companies and other places that make this equipment. The resources page contains a lot of links, some probably broken to various journals, websites, miscellaneous things that I've found useful over the years. Uh, let me know if you want to add something or if it's missing or it's broken. The fun page is exactly that. It's organized fun. It's hand-related music and hand-related images. And anything you want to add there, uh, again, let me know. TMS Smart, well, that's a website you'll learn a lot more about if you hang around until TMS Chapter 5, Video 2. If you're accessing the internal version of the website, then you should see seven more links in the white menu. The projects page is a one-stop reference point for everything you'll need to run projects in the hand lab. It is essential reading for lab members. It's our handbook and it contains something like a code of practice for working in the hand lab. ARM is another database and website that we'll talk about a lot in the hand lab chapter 3. ARM stands for Academic Research Management. ARM is a method for organizing and documenting your research in the lab and it's critical that you get to know. The writing page contains lots of simple tips for writing up your work. It is the hand lab house style for writing scientific manuscripts and if you don't have another style that you're forced to use for an assignment or, or a publication then use this one because it's pretty clean and pretty straightforward. The NeuroNav page contains a list of instructions for preparing brain images for experiments, for example, for TMS. And we'll return to that in TMS Chapter 5. NB, with a colon after it, is a, the acronym for my reference database, Neurobiography. This is the engine that powers lots of stuff on the websites. Finally, the network and toolbox pages are not very well maintained, but it's a list of um, computer hardware and software, respectively, uh, and there may be something useful in there for you. Finally, a quick trip around some external websites that the HanLab has a presence on. TMS Smart is the ship's wheel icon. That's a TMS tool that we'll return to in TMS Chapter 5, Video 2. The Research in Touch website is for organizing the touch network that we set up in 2019. That's got 100 and something members at the moment of this video, uh, and it's going to be used to run workshops and other events in the future. The Facebook page was mostly for communicating with parents during our GRASP project in 2012 to 2016, but we could definitely use it more. GitHub is another resource that we really should use more, and this is a great way to keep programs and toolboxes better maintained and up to date and to be able to share them with other people. The Twitter account is mostly just for me to be angry on. Finally, the YouTube channel, you've probably already found that one if you're watching this video. It's where this video is hosted and the rest of Mooch. That's all, folks. The websites may change a little bit over time. And as, it, as that happens, I'll try and keep these videos and the, the websites themselves up to date, um, which may not happen.
in the meantime, there's really no substitute for just browsing, having a look, and if there's anything you don't understand or you need more information about or something doesn't work quite the way you think it should, then just let me know. I like websites.